We mix three liquids. Solution A, hydrogen peroxide. Solution B, potassium iodate with sulfuric acid. And finally, solution C, a mixture of malonic acid, starch and manganese sulfate. As you can see, the colour's already changed. Let's mix it up. Spin it out, give it a vortex, and take the top off. It's clear, it's gone yellow, and now it's gone black. But the reaction's not finished yet. And the reaction's gone back to being clear, then straight to yellow, and again to blue. The reaction is slowing down because the rate of mixing is slowing down because the vortex has disappeared. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shove in the right direction. This is the briggs rauscher reaction, also known as the pulsing reaction, and your class will be gasping by the end of it because it looks like it's not science, it looks like magic. It's an example of autocatalysis. It goes one way, back to the other, and back to the first. The reason the reaction actually finishes is it runs out of one of the reagents. That's absolutely amazing. That oscillated 14 times and it's still trying to go strong. That's the pulsing reaction.